Today is an exciting day. I just received the kids' new school curriculum, so we are excited to open the boxes and see all the amazing books we're gonna be using. First, I wanna show you guys something I'm a little excited about. We do a majority of our homeschool in this area, but look at this wall. I want to build a giant chalkboard right here. I have been wanting to build one of these for a long time, so today it's going to happen. But first, we're gonna open up these boxes and I'm gonna show you the curriculum I plan to do for this year. Schooling the girls since they began school. Jaira is going into sixth grade, Sophia is starting fourth grade, and this will be our second year going with charter school. The charter school also provides an allowance that helps pay for supplies like the school curriculum, school supplies, and also field trips. So the kids have been able to do some really fun field trips like whale watching, going to very fun children's museums. The kids were also able to learn about aerodynamics and they went to iFly, which was really exciting. They had, they gotta go skydiving in this giant cylinder. A lot of opportunities for the kids to get out and do things, a lot of hands-on learning. These boxes are just for Jaira and Sophia. Micah is going to be starting kindergarten this year, but his curriculum is going to be arriving the next couple days. So it is just the girls today. So we have a list of everything. This curriculum is a literature-based curriculum. So there is a lot of reading. Oh, the Wright brothers. We have, oh, you gotta learn some songs. <laughs> <laughs> lots of fun, lots of fun reader books. Old Yeller, that's mm. a good one. Brand new well, books are. are so nice to open up. Smell good too. <laughs> Sounds like a light. Helen Keller, that's a good book. Poems. We also have more history. So this is their science worksheets. And here is my guide that I'm gonna have in my binder that also has every week laid out for me, which is really nice. This is the language art guide. And then we have Worldly Wise. This is gonna be their vocabulary book. I haven't tried this yet. This is a new one, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Sorry. And then here is their student workbooks for their writing. And then they'll be doing cursive. Okay. So this is their timeline figures and their stickers. So they cut them out, color them, and they put it on the timeline, which we've already started this timeline. So that was the first year of American history. This will be the second year of putting stickers on for American history. Oh, answer key. Hmm. Ew. Hide that from you guys. Nah. And yeah, the World Wars. Mm. So this is the first time the kids <gasps> with this curriculum getting into more around the world because we've been sticking to American history. All right, that's the first box. We got another <laughs> box to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like you guys have your science, science. in this. All right, so here is their science kit. Let's just open it up and show you guys what it looks like. Looks like planting. You're gonna be doing a lot of planting <laughs> stuff. A lot of seeds. And it also comes with a CD to go with their worksheets to help follow along. And looks like we have some more, we have some more books. So this is a science book. It's an Osborne book. And here is another science book they're gonna be reading through. Osborne oh. books are amazing. They're so much fun. Then we have the American Spirit. Is that yours? Yes. Oh. It's mine. Okay. That's Jairus. <laughs> we have more science. I Another encyclopedia. More science! These books are really it's an pretty. Osborne. Ooh, look. Osborne books are amazing. Sometimes scary. <laughs> yeah. I See, saw a lot of this stuff I can even have their brothers come along and yeah. read with us. So it's really beautiful, easy to follow, easy for kids to keep entertained with these 
Osborne books are amazing. Green so these thumbs. are new for me. I'm gonna be trying this this year. It's called Green Thumbs. It has a lot of how to plant. <laughs> and that is it for the girls. So now we just need to get all this stuff organized. I need to get my teacher's binder organized. I have about three of these, the History, Language Arts, and Science Guide. Each week is laid out so I can just open it up and go. I don't have to do any prep work, which is nice. So I am going to get that filled and organized. I am finished loading my school binder. That is one full school year all laid out for me. Let me show you what this looks like. So at the top, day one, we are gonna be reading about William in chapter one and two. We're gonna take this book, we're gonna to go to the first chapter and read to the second chapter, and then we have some extra stuff in the rest of that day and then this day is finished. That will be the same thing for language arts and science. So each day is completely laid out, very simple, easy to do. So that is everything for science. They are gonna be working on their vocabulary with these books. Then we have their spelling. I really like these. This is handwriting without tears. They'll be doing their cursive and working on their handwriting. So I love these. Easy to work with and the kids really like them. And then the rest is history. <laughs> All the history and then you have just storybooks that really help the kids get engaged and be really interested and excited about learning. All right, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for school. Are you homeschooling? Are you doing school online? Or are your kids doing virtual classes with your teachers still? Let me know, maybe you're actually able to go to classes this year. We read all of your comments, so leave a comment what you guys are gonna do for this school year, already started doing. All right, you know that chalkboard I mentioned I was gonna be doing something with? Well, I'm gonna get started on that, so let's get going. <laughs> easy to put together. I do want to show you a couple of things. You can see right here, I sandwiched this big giant plywood together. Also, this is a drawer handle that I bolted in from the back side to hold the chalk. It's just a really nice little added. Also, these lanterns right here, if you guys missed last week's vlog, I built these and showed how to make them. And also, Jaira here, Without me even knowing, she yeah, built her yeah. own lantern. Out of the scrap. Oh yeah, out of the scrap wood. So Jar just got a hammer and nails and just built her own. We did take off some artwork that we had on this wall and we replaced it with a chalkboard. Right here. I do want to put this somewhere in the house because I absolutely love this one. I built it a long time ago, but I would love to build another one and show you guys how I did that. We got little boys over here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? My old, old tail. Are you playing with your dog? Uh, Micah, be nice. All right. Mike, take it away. 
<laughs> fan mail that came in. So we're gonna check that out with the girls and what are you guys doing? We are prepping the board. You have to just like fill the whole board up with chalk and then you wipe it off and then you can write on it. So it's just prepping it and getting it ready to write on. All right, that just sounds really bad. <laughs> wow, our house looks like a jungle. <laughs> How many plants can you find? All right. This is... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just in my sight Ooh, right now. Just, there's more upstairs, there's yeah. more in there. Well, actually, this it's one, oxygen. hold on, this oxygen. one is brand new. Got it at Costco, $29. It's a really good deal. They're usually $100 at Home Depot. For a very small one. For a smaller one, so. I was at Costco the other day, just planning on getting some of the usual stuff, and then they had this special order of these plants, so I sent Savannah a picture, and of course, she's saying, get them, get them all. <laughs> It looks like it. That's how you prep your board. Whippy, whippy, whippy. Whippy. Dad? What is that? I don't know. It looks like donut. Donut wrapping paper. That's awesome. That one's favorite. We got coffee beans. Nice. I want donuts. <laughs> Micah wants donuts now. We bought this coffee when we were on a mission trip in Bolivia. I love watching your vlogs. I hope you enjoy the Bolivian coffee. Lydia. All right, Lydia, thank you so much for the amazing wrapping paper, the coffee, and your note. And we think Lydia is such a beautiful name. And if you guys could push that like button for... <laughs> for Micah!